Hey guys, this is Zemin from DMC. Now, in this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can use your iPad to change the virtual background on Zoom. So let's go into our step-by-step -step sharing. Now, if you're using your iPad to actually attend some Zoom meeting and thinking of how you can actually change your virtual backgrounds, yeah? If you can see currently on my virtual background, um, it's kind of like messy, right? <laughs> I have my TV right here and also I have my couch right here. I have like, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like messy backgrounds, yeah? So let's have a look, okay? So over right here, if today um, you would like to use your iPad to actually go through your Zoom meeting, this is what you can do, right? Um, over right here, let's just go into my Zoom account, yep. So um, I'm already in a meeting. So let's say that, you know, right now um, you would like to just join into the meeting or start a new meeting. Yeah. So my case, I'll just start a new meeting as a demonstration for you guys. Right. So right now, all right, I'll just go on with the call. Yeah. So this, this is what you can see. Yeah. When the moment that you are in the Zoom, okay, um, it will straight away show your backgrounds, right? Um, provided that you turn on your camera. So if you didn't turn on, yeah, it will show something like that as a logo. If you turn it on, yeah, this is um what you can see, right? And the backgrounds itself, right? So over right here, if you are planning to change your virtual background, this is what you do. On the top right, you can see there's a more um button. Yeah, and we are going to go under the background and filters. And right here, if you can see, there's actually some default um background, virtual background that you can use, right? Um directly from the zoom. Yeah, so I will just like minimize a little bit. You can see that I'm currently in a space. And this one I think is you know some kind of like greenery right here. And then we will have US. Yep, so travel to US. So um up to you, yep, up to you uh which virtual background that you like. So some of you might say Zen, I all of the background I also don't like. <laughs> I would like to use my own backgrounds, right? How do you do that? Yeah. You can just go back to the same place of background and um over right here, the plus sign, we are going to just uh load the SS, yeah, and you can just choose any pictures that you might have in your iPad. Yeah. So let's say I will just use this as my office background. Just click done and see yeah i will have a bookshelf an office background right there and maybe i will just change to another one let's say uh this one yeah another office background okay so this is what you can do now how do you get all these images right very simple mm, you can just go to your safari um or your you know or your google chrome any browsers that you have and we are just going to you know download a picture so let's say you would like to go to a cafe or you know like you know holiday right uh let's say cafe yeah i can just type cafe background all right so then so right here you can just choose any wallpaper background maybe yeah that you like so let's say um 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 i prefer this one Okay, so what I will do is that I will just add to photo, save the picture, and maybe I will go with the other ones of like uh, beach. Yeah? So over right here, okay, I will just choose this, then I will use this one. Okay, add to photo as well, and I will just go back to my um, zoom. Yeah, so over right here, same thing top right the more button i'm going to go under the background i'm going to choose my coffee <sighs> okay which um i think this picture is slightly a little bit too small i've blocked everything <laughs> so this is not a good example so what i will do is that i will change to another one let's try yeah this one slightly better okay um i get you know slightly better you can also turn it horizontally 
Yeah, so then this in this way, right? Um, if you can see, uh, yeah, I can see the picture more. <laughs> so if let me is in this format, you only get a very limited uh, background for your tissues. Yeah. Um, in the case that you have some backgrounds that you previously uploaded to Zoom settings, and you are thinking of to remove them. Okay, this you know this kind of like uh, backgrounds you no longer need that, and perhaps you like yeah you you kind of like just want to delete them yeah if I say it's not suitable. Okay, this is where you can go under the more setting background and filters. You can see this edit right there. Yeah, just click on the edit, and here you can see you know just now the coffee mm, background is not that suitable right. So I can just remove that. And yeah, so if I say I don't want this picture also, I can just remove that, yeah, in my settings, yeah. So now another one that I want to share with you guys is the filter. If you can see there's actually two tab. One is the background, the other one is the filters, right? So filters it works something like this, yeah. It gives you some kind of like lighting, yeah, as the filter filters right there. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I can actually have some like uh special uh in you know special <laughs> special effects right there yeah so some other um special effect that i can add on as well you know a cute one yeah maybe i will go with like graduations as well okay so or else i will use this okay um uh, but the, the the thing is over right here um, for this kind of uh, special effect yeah um, it's not that formal if you're actually in a, you know, in kind of like a formal meetings, right? So, um, what you can do is that you can just leave the, you know, the filters off. <laughs> okay, I will just remove the filters right here to set it to none. Yeah, so then uh, you, you won't have like all these uh, special um, effects right there. So only purely just the virtual backgrounds. Yeah, so um, that's all that I would like to share with you guys in this video on how you can change your virtual backgrounds on Zoom uh, uh, very quickly via just a click of buttons. Yeah, first things over right here, you will actually need to set up your, um, you know, save some pictures in your iPad, okay, in your iPads over right here. And right after that, you can just straight away, um, you know, just update the virtual backgrounds um, to any backgrounds that you prefer. Yeah, so if you successfully um able to actually upload um uh, virtual backgrounds via your iPad uh, in your Zoom app, right? So do leave a comment below and let us know. Yeah, and uh, if you like our video, remember to help us like and share. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. Help us like and share. If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video.